G'day guys, I've got an anti-differentiation question for you today that a student has asked me to run through. So what have we got here? A curve has a gradient function of 2x plus 7 and passes through the points 3 comma p and negative 1 comma negative 9. Find the value of p. Okay, so this is not a very complicated question, but if you don't know what you're doing, I can see how this might trouble some people. So we've got a gradient function, so let's just call that uh, f dash of x equal to 2x plus 7. Now, to start with, what we're going to, have to do is we want to work out what the regular function is. So from here, we can just, hopefully you guys are aware of the mechanics of anti-differentiation. What we do is we add a power to the x, so we have x to the power of 2, and divide it by 2, so we're just going to end up with just x squared plus 7, and that's going to be plus 7x now. And then don't forget about the c on the end. So what we're going to do from here is we've got to try and figure out what c is. Now we're going to use this point here. Negative 1, comma negative 9. So from here, what we can actually say that the, the function at negative 1 is equal to negative 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to input these values into this function here and solve for c. So let's go about doing that. I'm going to go f of negative 1 is equal to negative 1 squared plus 7 times negative 1 plus c and that's going to equal negative 9. So negative 1 squared is just 1. 7 times negative 1 is minus 7 plus c equals negative 9. Okay, so from here, 1 minus 7 is negative 6. If I take this negative 6 across the other side, I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So I've got c is equal to negative 3. Cool. So now what we can do is we can rewrite our function fully. We can say f of x is equal to x squared plus 7x minus 3. Great. Now from here it's quite straightforward. To figure out what p is, all we have to do is, well let's just write down, p is going to be equal to the function at 3. So, all we're going to do is we're just going to go f of 3 is equal to 3 squared plus 7 times 3 minus 3. Cool. 3 squared is 9 plus 7 threes are 21 minus 3. So that is going to equal, so p, therefore, p is going to equal 9 plus 21 is 30, minus 3 is 27. Okay guys, so basically what I'm assuming that you know in this question is you know the mechanics of anti-differentiation. You know that basically if you have a value x to the n, to anti-differentiate it, what you do is you add 1 to the power and then you divide the whole thing by that new power. So here what we did is we went 1 plus 1 to the power is 2, divide everything by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1 and we just left with x squared. So you can see that like I'm assuming that you know this already. So what I'm doing is I'm just showing how the mechanics of anti-differentiation contribute to helping us find the value of P. So not a very complicated or long video, guys. I hope it helped. You know, if it did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel as well if you guys can. It, like, it helps me out a lot. Um, I put out new videos almost every single day on maths, physics, chemistry, you name it. I try and make videos on it. But until next time, guys, enjoy your study.